Today we are starting our playthrough of Spirit Fair, a adventure game by Thunder Lotus Games. Let's start. First time I've seen myself without a hat. Ah, finally. Is it? <laughs> I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Sharon. The Spirit Fairer. Well, that is what I have been up until your arrival. I cannot say I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid that you have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day, and you are. Stella. Stella. Welcome. I see if you brought a friend here with you. What? What's his name? Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the island, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is the Ever Door. The Alpha where everything starts, and the Omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. Isn't that like a real place, this thing? There's no more ta there's no task more important than this one. Never forget this. Here, there's something I need to give you. Now be very careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what? Oh. The heck? <laughs> well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Kitty, what did you... What the... <laughs> Listen. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit farers after all. Oi! Oh. Just one thing. Wait, so you have a second player that controls. Your. <laughs> really? <laughs> Mine is not suited for you, and it will be fa it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. It is time. Here I go. So long, Stella, and good luck, you will need it. Oh. 
Ooh. Wait, so how did I end up here in the first place? Press A to jump, hold A to jump higher. Cool. Hold up while jumping to climb through platforms. Oh, oh let's see. Let's see. Hold down or A to drop down. Here's the thing, I have a PlayStation controller. So A is uh, X. Right here. Press X. Mm -hmm. Stella. It really is you. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. Mm -hmm. You look good. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Huh. Uh, I might not be that av obvious after all. Mm -hmm. It is me, Gwen. Good thing you found mm -hmm. me. But you if you're here, that means... Oh... You are the new spirit fair. Mm -hmm. You are the ones replacing Sharon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Funny I used how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I could see you have an Everlight now. Oh, it's on my belt. And it's on her collar. On his collar. Mm -hmm. Daffodil. You see that boat over there? <laughs> Look at that idle animation. Whoa. That's a huge boat. Mm -hmm. That's the mm -hmm. one. It is obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work since you're the new, you're the spirit fair. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. Mm -hmm. I'll explain it all. Can I pet? <sighs> you can. <laughs> What's that? Over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it goes. Hope my fur current won't be too damaged. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Mm -hmm. So, the way I see it, this boat is now yours. Don't you mm. think? Good. And as you're the spirit for a walking stray spirits is your new job. Once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me at? <laughs> like that? Mm. You need to come here and give me a hug. Okay. X? Yeah, yeah. X. Mm -hmm. Much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Okay, maybe I did have set like this before. For a reason. How about that? Does that sound better? Mm -hmm. Oh no, what? Mm -hmm. What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt... Petunia's Tunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm -hmm. mm, there's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. But he's the only one who could fix your boat. Mm -hmm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make this ship move. Mm -hmm. 
It's really easy. Let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock the cabin in the mm. back. You should find a map projector in the there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning to escape, remember? Mm. You, you know me. I plan things meticulously. Mm. Go open that cabin. Mm. The map projector should be simple enough to use, and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Uh, wait. Oh, there we go. Uh... Oh. So, this. There we go. Oh, and we're off. Is that it? That's it. As I understand, this ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. Mm. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm. Sharon, the Everdor, the Spirit Frills, this place is a little bit. It's a lot. Mm. Truth be told, I don't really know either, but I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help and try to make sense of it all. Mm. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now, don't hesitate to explore this ship. Mm -hmm. You can even give, in that, give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. How does this work? Oh. Hold X. Okay. A herring? Okay. Whoops. So, you, I guess you press X to bob it? Or square? <laughs> I don't think anything's coming. Oh, there we go. In the top left is our progress. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll catch one more. I'm like trained after playing Animal Crossing to keep pressing it. Alright, I think we're done here. Albert Shipyard discovered. It's beautiful. Relax. You need to calm down. When you ring at night, people get up. Nobody likes to be woken up, especially me. Now head to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. Okay, it's the only way to clear this clutter. Considering this mouse, at least seven types of dirt and dust. Oh, no. Dang. Over here. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you're the new spirit fairer? Well, of course you are. Anyway, I've been able to start the ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Let me see what you have. A nice little dinghy. <laughs> Funny how it looks. Damn, the ship is bigger than I thought. Um, the one I built some time ago and it's stored in my old shipyard. Seeing Sharon was... Unhappy about his gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. So I built him, a, built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. His old, old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's call it a loan. 
And let me tell you something. Don't worry. We're still working on it. With a little bit of love, this bird will sing again. First thing you need is a proper blueprint. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free. It's a bit of bare bones. Upgrades will come at a small price. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Come. Okay. Let's see. Upgrade. Okay. Ooh. We have zero dollars. So I guess we get this one. We get a guest house, garden, field, and kitchen. Oh, salmon loom found. Chicken coop. Oh, smithy. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, these are expensive. A giant size boat. Oh my gosh, can't wait to see that. Mailbox. Wow, okay, quite the uh, upgrade path. Top. Okay, cool. There you go. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. Okay, cool. Are we done? Yes. Wait. Do I go on my boat? This way. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. How does this work? What? Did I go back? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand! Build okay, how do I build? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Edit. What? Wait. Why am I? Why am I in the water? <laughs> I don't. Understand. Am I supposed to climb? Oh. Oh. Now we're done. Right? Oh, I'm here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see. The, the outline of the small boat is so small that I, I don't even rec- the highlight is so, so- don't even recognize it. Good. Albert gave it to you for free and he said he loaned the ship to you. Mm -hmm. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. The character's like... Ugh. Let's focus on the task at hand for now. Come on, controller. Mm -hmm. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any resource, remove any building, and get back resources. Mm -hmm. Go for it all the way down here. <laughs> Wait, is my cabin like in here? Is it? No, this is not it. That's the that's the project. Wait a minute, where? Oh, this thing. Ah, edit. Are you sure you want to salvage this building? You'll get back the following resources. Yeah. Maple log, empty bottle, old shoe. Wonderful. And that was pretty simple. Hmm. So we can add a guest house. Hmm. Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. And well, sleep not really. I can tell you 
you for sure that no one would be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave it. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Okay. Can we build anything else? Or does this cost like... Oh, this costs resources. But we can build the guest house. Um... Where should we build the guest house? Should it be like the first thing that they... Hmm. I'm thinking... Yeah, maybe closer to the... The dock. Like right there. So that came free. That's it, right? Very nice. This guy's house is very pretty. Has your touch. Nice work. Now I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. What's going on? Something else is happening. I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. You know how it terrible a cook I am, but I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. Mm -hmm. You might have fished a few fishes. The trouble is I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'd probably choke mm -hmm. on a fish bone. Mm -hmm. Okay, build a kitchen. You require bright jelly. Mm -hmm. And there's only one to get, only way to get some. Mm -hmm. Look, I told you when I first met you here. Something scares the heck out of me. Mm -hmm. A dark presence, and even I cower from it. The void that swallows all, light included. It can take many forms, and for me, it's always jellyfish. Mm -hmm. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there's no other option. Mm -hmm. I'll have to face my fears. But you are here. Mm -hmm. With you, I can do it. They will appear as dark patch of fear. Dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. I'll go take some time to prepare myself. Hmm. Okay. Let's go see. Pure fear. Oh, I see it. Is that it? <laughs> uh, oh! See treasure w Ooh! What's this? Okay, I guess we're heading here. That's so cool. That's a nice touch. Alright, so he's chillin'. Can't build the kitchen yet. Guess we could fish. Herring, nice. Shoe. Wait, wait, next, next thing I'm gonna pick up is a tap. Oh no! Here we are. Mm -hmm. Ding! Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glims. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Go ahead. I believe glims. Wait, what? Where? Am I like... Oh. Oh. What the heck? How do I... What? 
What exactly? Oh. Right, Joe. Okay, I got one. Wait, so if I touch those, do I take damage? Is there even a health bar in this game? Oh no, how, do I, how am I gonna get that? Oh, oh, those are glims. Oh, I should get those then. Mm. Okay, this is why you wanna have a bigger. This is, oh my god, how do you, how am I gonna get that? 25 glims. Seems like this is the strat. Okay, bright jelly. Oh, this is not bad. I camp up here. Oh my god, that's quite a lot. I can see why a second player might become handy, huh? They can help me grab all the stuff. Now, do we need... I mean, can we just stay here all day and grab it? Or is there a time limit? It's probably a time limit, right? Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there. You definitely haven't lost your touch. And you even gather enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. What if you fail? <laughs> Slowly? Okay, cool. Um, let's build a kitchen here. Garden, field, kitchen. Oh my god, I got eight. Um, dude, we do have a small boat, don't we? Yeah. Can we? I don't know if I want to build a kitchen on top. Probably right next door. What, do we, what else do we have here? We have a field and kitchen. Okay, we'll build the kitchen right next door. That. Nice, oh my god, nice incline. You can slide down too. Wait, can you slide? Oh, you only can slide on this one. You can now use the oven. It's rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You can even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around my pocket. I can't wait to see you again in your cooking glory. Wait, what? Ah, yes. I forgot to... As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it is a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light. Or something... That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business or just chill out on the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep, too. Oh, and speaking of that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that bell up over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Mm -hmm. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Okay. All right, so... Uh, I guess she's waiting for her food, right? So we got... Corn. Let's cook this. Did I cook more than no? Nah. Cook. Maybe. What is it? X Y. Okay, so you cook it. Okay, got it. 